7 Day 7 Mask on Oily Acne Prone Skin Hey everyone, it's Jo. Today we'll be reviewing 7 Sheet Masks. I hope you guys are ready. Let's get started. On day 1, I wanted to use the Elan Cilia Whitening Mask and this contains escargot and galactomyces. Galactomyces, if you guys don't know, is yeast ferment so it's actually supposed to help brighten and keep your skin looking youthful. This is what my skin looked like before. This mask smelled like Sprite. Guys, it was kind of pretty amazing. It made the whole experience a lot nicer and I really like the fit of the sheet mask and I also like how thin it is even though it contains a lot of essence. So after taking it off and patting it in, I did notice that it left a slightly, slightly tacky finish but definitely not the tackiest sheet mask I had which is actually really nice. So the finish was, again, between matte and tacky and the fit was pretty good and I felt really moisturized afterwards, but I would probably not repurchase. It was kind of a middle of the road kind of mask, so I wasn't really impressed. On day two, I used the Skin Food Beauty in a Food Mask Sheet in the Bird's Nest Fragrance Variety scent, I don't know. Um, but if you guys don't know, Bird's Nest is a really, really nice ingredient in keeping your skin youthful. If you didn't know, it's actually Bird's saliva, so fun! Anyway, so I actually really, really like this mask. Like, the material was a lot thicker than most sheet masks that I've used, but the fit on this mask was a dream. And I also really loved the consistency of this mask. It was a lot creamier than most masks, and my skin felt so moisturized, but also a lot less irritated than it was um, before, so I really like that. Uh, the finish is a lot more tacky than the average sheet mask, and the fit was amazing. Moisturization, top notch, and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing it, especially since it's so affordable. So on the third day, I used the Elan Cilia Revitalizing Mask. This has escargot and propolis. This smelled so good. It smelled like green. I just feel like this was a pretty nice, decent mask. It's like a good pick-me-up. I don't think it's one of the best masks I tried, but it's definitely, it definitely does its job. The finish was a little bit more to the matte side and the fit was decent and the moisturization was again pretty decent. I wouldn't repurchase because I would like my mask to be something that really does something for my skin. So on the fourth day, I used the Jejun Intensive Shining Mask and this is actually a three-step sheet mask which is really cool. I think it was one, it's the first one that I've tried. So before, my skin was really really irritated because I actually fell asleep with makeup. So this is actually really late at night, that's why I'm wearing my glasses. And also it's why everything is out of focus because I could not see without my glasses. Um, I really liked the first step because it was an essence that left a very moisturized but not sticky residue in my face. The one problem with this sheet mask though is that the fit, for my face at least, was really really bad. So I feel like if you have a longer face than me, this will definitely fit your face better. Look how irritated my skin is, oh my gosh. Anyway, so step three is this eye cream and there's actually a lot of eye cream in here. So I highly recommend that instead of just throwing out whatever is left over, that you guys depot this maybe so you could use it for a few more days so it's more worthwhile. And my skin felt really bright and less irritated. The finish was very tacky on this one um, and the fit was of course very bad, but of course my face is pretty big and my skin did feel moisturized, but I don't think I'm going to repurchase this one. On day 5, I used the Elan Cilia Repairing Mask and that's the Escargot and Caviar. Uh, so Caviar, if you guys didn't know, it really helps with um, repairing your skin. And the scent on this one was kind of like old lady perfume. It's not the best, but it's decent. Anyway, so the fit on this mask is the same as all the Elan Cilia masks. They use the same sheet mask, so it's pretty decent. and. Um, this is actually, I think this was one of the best masks that I used from the Elan Cilia brand. Um, 
So the finish was between matte and tacky. The fit was pretty decent, as I said before. The moisturization, very, very good with this one, but I still would not repurchase. It just, just they just didn't wow me. On day six, I used the Mediheal PDF AC Dressing Ampule Mask, and it contains salicylic acid and Centella Asiatica, so it's supposed to really help soothe your skin, but also exfoliate it. This mask, the fit was pretty amazing i would say and i really liked the material of this mask it's a lot thicker so it holds a lot more essence i really really like the scent on this mask it's kind of like a woodsy herbally kind of like chinese medicine but it's i love chinese medicine smell i guess the essence on the sheet mask also really soaked in super quickly so it left a little bit more of a matte feeling the next morning my skin looks so nice the finish on this as i said before was a little bit more matte the fit amazing and moisturization pretty decent considering how it's like a mask for acne so it's a definite repurchase and on the seventh day i tried the metaheal ipi light mask hydra nude gel mask so this is my first hydrogel mask i didn't really know what to expect it comes in two parts it said that hydrogel masks are supposed to be like one of the best most innovative sheet masks out there because it's kind of like second gen personally the whole experience was kind of like underwhelming like there was so much hype to this that i was like oh wow this mask is going to be the one that like tops it off that's why i wanted it to be my last mask of this week the whole process of putting it on since it's a two-part mask it kept slipping around it was really irritating so by the end of it i was just super exhausted so i kind of just passed out um afterwards without taking a video of my skin afterwards so i'm super sorry about that but the finish of this was super matte like there was absolutely no essence left to pat in the fit was decent because it is two parts but i my skin just didn't feel moisturized and it didn't feel as good as the cotton version of this mask so as you guys can see after this entire week of masks, it really, really helped calm down a lot of my acne. It's a lot less red and a few pimples minimized. Um, but if you see on my left side of the cheek, I did get a few more pimples where I didn't have before. But I think that was because, you know, some pimples are just under the skin, so they'll appear later on. Overall, less redness, fewer breakouts, smoother skin. It was a lot of work though. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!